Hey YouTube, if you've ever traveled overseas or live overseas, you probably know what this is. But for those of you that don't, this is a European power strip. This is what their electrical outlets look like, uh, mainly used in like Germany and a lot of other countries too. Um, we use this. This is called like a Shuko plug system. I'm going to show a little bit of basics of it. Here's the end of it. Here's the plug. You got two pins, round pins compared to the flat ones here in the U.S. And these little side strips are the grounding. Some of the plugs will also have a pin that sticks out. Like there'll be a pin down here that sticks upward to fit in that hole. I think it's like a French thing. But it fits in like that. And like that. Now, that's the, the grounded version, the three-pin version. Well, just like we have two-pin and three-pin here in the U.S., they have the equivalent, too. This is, I picked this up at a garage sale. It's a cell phone charger from overseas, and it's got the two-pin. It'll fit in here, too, for ungrounded applications. And for, like, laptops and stuff that use that connector, they've got this. And here's a wall outlet for one. My aunt brought this back when she went over to, um, I want to say Germany. That's what their wall outlets look like. Kind of cool. Same principle as that. But basically, you got your you got your ground connection right here, and your neutral, your hot and neutral down there. Now, these are unpolarized, meaning can stick it in anyway and it doesn't matter it doesn't care but they operate on 230 volts instead of 110 or 120 like here in America and they're at 50 Hertz or 50 cycles instead of 60 so that's kind of the basics of that and a lot of countries use different plugs this is just one of the most common ones. I've got a British one too. I don't have a British outlet. I have a British plug. And I've got a Chinese step down transformer too. A lot of times you can find this type of stuff at second hand stores and flea markets and stuff. Someone travels overseas and needs one of these. And so they buy one. Then they come back here and they have no more use for it. So they sell it or donate it. Um, same thing with like a cell phone charger. You take your cell phone overseas, you need a charger that's going to fit their outlet. A lot of chargers and cell phone adapters, or like laptop power supplies and stuff nowadays, are switching. So that you plug it in, it can detect the voltage, whether it's 120 volts or 230, and it switches automatically. So you don't have, all you have to have is an adapter. Like my laptop takes this kind of connector on one end. So I plug this into my laptop, go overseas, and I can plug this into the power strip. And the laptop's power supply will work just as fine on their voltage as ours. Pretty cool. Um, really how that all works. And um, as time goes by, I'm getting more and more different foreign plug things. I've always thought they're interesting. And I don't know if you probably can't see it very well, but there's a lot of different approvals. So this is approved for use in a lot of different countries. Pretty cool. Well, hope you enjoyed a little random bit of geekery. Well, for now, thanks for watching. Have a good one.